we're Skip and Jazz, and we've been traveling for three years and have absolutely fallen in love with the travel lifestyle. When COVID hit though, we went back home and we built a van from scratch with zero experience. 10 months later, we're doing renovations and upgrading our Beverly and the van, and we're here to take you along our building journey. Good morning, everybody. Taking Honey on her walk, and then we'll get started on our van projects. We're gonna rehook up our DC to DC charger. Um, you're gonna cut out a hole for the Berkey. Yeah. And then what was the third thing? I think we said we'd figure it out today. Oh yeah, then we'll figure out the third thing. <laughs> Something will come up. Yeah. Also, the weather is it's freezing out. Not freezing, but it's super cold out. And it was hot and humid it's also and now, not that cold. So. Well, I'm in two jackets, but <laughs> anyways, this this is Kansas for you. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm working on the, the DC to DC charger and I had my first spark out of all like ever doing work on electrical and it scared the shit out of me. I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm fine. It was just very startling. Oh my gosh, the backsplash is gone. <laughs> Looks so weird. I know. It's like bare bones. Oh my gosh. I am still working away at our DC to DC charger. Skip can't really sit still, so he's like, what can I work on? What Just can I do? Just ripping stuff up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, DC to DC charger is installed, except we can't tell, I think it works, but we're, our batteries are at 100 because we don't have anything plugged in. We can't tell. So we're like running a whole bunch of stuff to drain our batteries and Fingers crossed because it's a bitch to install. I don't know why. Just the DC to DC charger. It's just a lot does. of. I mean, anything electrical is just a lot of steps. Yeah, I was like, we'll get it done in like hour, hour and a half, five hours. Yeah. <laughs> you think we'd learn? Okay, so now that electrical is 95% done, we're going to install our Berkey like right here, and we're gonna put it in between the, um, like between the upper cap cabinet. I can't really describe it, but you'll see. But anyway, so first step is to unload the upper cabinets, then we'll cut a hole, um, and then install the Berkey. Oh my gosh! 40 cuts later, I don't know how many, but it was a lot. <laughs> Woo! Proud of you. That was a lot of work. Good morning, everybody. Van Reno Day, I don't really know. We're starting off with some silicone. Um, we're trying to, like, silicone the edges where water could potentially get in. I'll show you. So I don't know if you can see it, but along there, like it gets pretty dirty under there. So we're just trying to prevent water from getting in. And then I don't know what's next. We're hoping to be done we'll in three days. In. Put the cabinets in. But anyways, we're trying to get done in three days. So we have a lot of work to do. Hopefully this is our last time taking the cabinets in and out. Please. Please. Yeah. Please.
I'm freaking exhausted. It's the end of the day, and we finished Nine up. Nine o'clock. Yeah, and we got so much done today. If yeah, we our countertop installed, our ca uh, cabinets installed. Was it Berkey today? No, that was yesterday. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I don't really No, the sink's not actually installed. It's yeah. just sitting there for vibes. Yeah. But everything looks really good. We're super happy with how it turned out. Yeah, but so. we're tired and... Ready to eat some food. We yeah. haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah. Bunny's also tired. <laughs> We've all had a big day. Yeah. All right. See you in the morning. All right. Attempting to install our water system today, but. <laughs> so the Home Depot guy did not know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Or I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go back into Home Depot. <laughs> Not even close, man. <laughs> I'm so confident. We need to tell him that it's a bathroom sink, not a kitchen sink. All right, so back into Home Depot we go. Trial two. I think this is what we need. We're gonna try it. I hope. <laughs> So the good thing about having a home on wheels is when you're doing projects, your home is just in the parking lot. So you can just keep going back and forth until you figure it out. It's on the right track at least. Yeah, we hard to get back on. These both go on under. That would, yeah, that'd be good. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, it would be, it would be good, yes. You're right. <laughs> like my two cents. Mm -hmm.